from our contact at YouTube. Now for years, I didn't have a contact at YouTube. Uh, now we have a contact at YouTube. Coco, I'll give you a little shout out, who I, who I really like. I think she's a great gal and she's helped us uh, deal with some of the, non, the general nonsense at YouTube. Um, but I got an email from, from Coco that obviously went out to all sorts of creators um, about election fraud content and what YouTube will be censoring. So it's a long email. I'm just gonna read uh, two parts of it directly from uh, YouTube, this is the exact email that I got yesterday. Starting today, we will remove new content uploaded on or after December 9th, 2020, alleging that widespread fraud or errors changed the outcome of the 2020 U.S. presidential election. For example, we will remove videos claiming that a presidential candidate won the election as a result of widespread software glitches or counting errors. It goes on to say, if your content is impacted, you will receive automated emails from our system regarding this content. As we ramp up our enforcement, we'll, like, we'll initially remove viola, violative videos without giving a strike. We will begin issuing strikes for new content uploaded after Inauguration Day, January 20th, 21. Um, man. There is a lot there, and that directly affects everything that I do. I think it probably affects our ability as human beings to communicate in an open and honest way. And there's just so much to talk about, I don't even know where to start. So I'll start with, before we even get into what's going on now, uh, I would like you to do a quick search about Russiagate on YouTube, about Russia or Ukraine uh, infecting our 2016 ele election, quotes from uh, Hillary Clinton saying it was an illegitimate election, Nancy Pelosi saying the same thing, all of the Democrats running around, uh, Swalwell, who it's now turned out, Eric Swalwell, it's now turned out he was sleeping with a Chinese spy, him talking about how Donald Trump Jr. is a Russian asset. The amount of misinformation on YouTube is extraordinary. It's actually unquantifiable. There's probably no way that even a machine could count the amount of misinformation that's on this website, putting aside the controlled misinformation that is our mainstream media. The idea that YouTube is now deciding, okay, this issue about the 2020 election, while we have lawsuits working through the system right now, which I'll talk about in a moment, now if you even say I'm not saying it right now, by the way, YouTube, if you're watching, I'm not saying there was widespread fraud. I'm saying that if you say there was widespread fraud, that they're gonna, they're gonna harm your channel, meaning they're gonna uh, either take down your videos, you're gonna get an email, and then eventually you get a strike, and if you get three strikes, you're basically out, they can delete your channel, they can demonetize you, and the rest of it. So it is only by the grace of the YouTube gods that any of us are here, I understand that, and they are a private company to some extent, although they obviously have a lot of connections with the government, and YouTube, in essence, is the new public square. But the idea that they're saying, oh, th you know, you can watch, there's all sorts of alien conspiracies, there's all sport, sorts of Nazi conspiracies, there's all sorts of insane, psychotic lunacy on this here YouTube.com. But this is the thing that's starting today, it's literally starting today, we will remove videos claiming that a presidential candidate won as a result of widespread software glitches or counting errors. So I guess you could say he won in other ways.